What is it about serving on the Supreme Court that causes justices to flip-flop on video coverage of oral arguments? The last two justices to be appointed, Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor, both supported cameras in the court during their confirmation hearings. Kagan told Congress, I think it would be a great thing for the institution, and more important, I think it would be a great thing for the American people. But in September, she told a University of Michigan Law School audience that she's concerned about how the footage would be used and that people might play to the cameras. Last month, Sotomayor told Charlie Rose, Why shouldn't we televise the Supreme Court? <laughs> All right. Um, in part, because I don't think most viewers take the time to appreciate what the court is doing. Why the change? Perhaps the fear of being mocked, taken out of context, and used for political advantage. After all, here's what the Republican National Committee released on YouTube after Solicitor General Donald Verrilli's Obamacare arguments. Uh, it, because the, uh, the, uh, the, excuse me. And all they had to work with was audio.